So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Jira Special. Today I will show you how to create a normalized different moisture index in RJS. So let's get started. Uh, let me show you now. So this is a. So this is a normalized different moisture index. A normalized different moisture index is used to determine the vegetation water content. So. The formula for uh, we're gonna use to find this uh, normalized difference moisture index is near infrared minus short wave infrared divided by near infrared plus short wave infrared. For Landsat 4 to 7, uh, we can uh, we are gonna use the formula the band 4 minus band 5 divided by band 4 plus band 5. For the Landsat 8, we're gonna use band 5 minus band 6 divided by band 5 plus band 6. So let me show you the bands. So this is Landsat 8 bands. Uh, band 5 is a near infrared, 30 meter resolution. Wavelength is from wavelength is from 0.85 to 0.88. And band 6 is the short wave infrared region. It, the wavelength is around 1.57 to 1.65. That is 30 meter resolution. To download your uh, satellite image. Go to the section, uh, go to the website called USGS Earth Explorer. Now, this is USGS Earth Explorer. Uh, let me show you the search criteria. Uh, all you have to do is uh, click the desired place you want. Suppose if I want this, click this as uh, click this, you will have a location tag, and further uh, go to the data set. So, uh, let me show you that. From this data set, we're going to select the Landsat. For, for my use, I'm going to use the Landsat Collection 2 and Level 1 and Landsat 8 image. So after that, uh, after uh, clicking this, go to the Result option and click Result. Now it is loading your Landsat 8 images. So these are the variety of Landsat images that is available in USGS. There is many images available. To download your uh, satellite image, you have to log in to your USGS account. And after that, you have to click this option. So this option, you can download that. And later after downloading, uh, let me get back to this. Let me get back to ArcGIS account, ArcGIS. So let me go to the satellite image. So this is the file manager of my location. This is the satellite image I have downloaded to extract your uh, to uh, extract your satellite image. Right click and extract here. Using option using uh, this option, all your files will be extracted from this zip. So after that, after extracting, make sure that you have your uh, folder location. Uh, let me minimize it. So let me minimize it. Uh, now go to the add section, add data, and this is our uh, file location. Now I'm going to choose band 5 and band 6. So let me show you the reason we are selecting it. So for calculating the, uh, diff the normalized different moisture index, we required band 5 and band 6. So let me go back to ArcGIS. So let me select band 5. And band 6. Now add. After that, go to the option called Raster Calculator and go to the Spatial Analysis Tools and go to the Map Algebra and click Raster Calculator. So this is our Raster Calculator. Now let me enter our recipe formula to calculate the the normalized different soil, uh, sorry, normalized different moisture index. So let me show you that formula again. So this is band 5 minus band 6. For Landsat 8, band 5 minus band 6 divided by band 5 plus band 6. For Landsat 4, band 4 minus band 5 divided by band 4 plus band 5. So in our case, we're going to use this one. I'm going to highlight it. This is our formula for Landsat 8 image. So let me get back to ArcGIS, minimize it. So 
let me enter before that let me choose a float option click float and band 5 minus band 6 divided by let me choose the float option again oh I made a mistake here let me uh, rectify it so again divided by now enter double click uh, now double click the float now band 5 plus band 6 so this is a recipe formula to calculate our normalized difference moisture index let me choose the output location i will choose the output location as normalized difference moisture index ndmi and click save now click ok so wait for some time uh, the rgs will be generating it So we have generated our required raster that is normalized difference moisture index. Now let me go turn off other uh, layers that is band 4 and band 5 and right click go to this uh, our uh, moisture index uh, layer right click properties go to the symbology classified uh, let me uh, click yes. Now let me choose the color scheme. For this, uh, let me choose uh, this color. Now apply. Click OK. So let me uh, drag this. So the red color indicates the the low moisture index, and the blue one indicates the higher moisture index. The negative indicates the lower and the positive indicates the higher. So red indicates the low moisture index and blue indicates the high moisture index. So in this way we can able to find the uh, normalized difference moisture index in RJS. So in this video we have learned how to create a normalized difference moisture index. So we can observe here the coastal plains are more uh, uh, more blue that is a higher moisture content compared to other area that is in uh, low moisture areas and few regions are with higher moisture and content you can see here let me uh, show you the definition once again so uh, normalized different moisture index a normalized difference moisture index is used to determine the vegetation water content so we found the vegetation water contents using the method uh, this method is of uh, normalized difference moisture index so for more uh, videos please subscribe to our channel Terra Spatials. and in the next video I will show you how to automate your workflow using a model builder for calculating the normalized difference moisture index so thanks for watching please subscribe